I took myself out of the clinic one by one and released myself into the world like chum from my fishing boat. I took number one straight out at the front door of the facility and put him on a bus. I dropped number two off at the carnival. I dropped number three like a drunk into a chair at the train depot. I took number four home and let him wake up in my bed. And the last one, number five, he was the most like me. And like God does all the time, I woke him up just to put him back to sleep. If it's not obvious, I had long-standing personal issues. The failure of my inconvenience store, followed by my personal ruin, alongside the dissolution of my health, my artistry, and finally my marriage. All manageable to some degree, in a particular, but overwhelming, taken together. I entered a period of inactivity, accelerated by self-loathing. But thank God one day I woke up with the idea. I didn't want to hang dogs or shoot deer or explode soldiers or hurt innocents. I was mad, but smart enough to know it was myself I was mad at. Fucking horn dog. And I had the time, the resources, and the ethical elasticity to do something about it. Let me give you the Reader's Digest version. I had myself cloned five times. I tattooed the numbers from one to five in between the flesh of the two smallest toes, left foot. I set the clone's mnemonic maps to mimic different facets of my personality so I could confront the five sides of myself I hated the most. When it was done, I would be happy. I would like myself. So just let me tell it before it's all over. I am someone who can get the job done. I meditate. Because I hate myself. Spirit animal up and left me. An acquaintance of mine told me she thought that suicide was the ultimate philosophical question. Is life worth living or isn't it? In Japan, suicide is not frowned upon. It's a nationally recognized and respected act, though the onerous American weight of shame and the failure attached. In Japan, suicide is not only acceptable, it goes through periods of fashion. I mean, that's kind of my base argument. That it's okay to kill yourself. If you're not getting it done, fucking monster. do yourself in. Number one, Mr. Drunk. Number two, Mr. Envy. My city, the endless river, forever and ever, and me in the middle, fuck, that's a Pink Floyd lyric, and me in the middle of it, 
the hunter. One by one, I tracked them down. And one by one, I found them. Mr. Drunk had been the easiest. Intoxicated fucking mouth breather. Every night, it was a goddamn pity party. I waited until he was so drunk he could barely see. And then I went in for the kill. I enjoyed that one perhaps a little too much. Mr. Envy was more challenging. But I was quicker than him. And I watched the life drain from his eyes. Mr. Useless was such a loser I could barely bring myself to look at him without throwing up in my own mouth. Everything about him disgusted me. Sylvia Plath? Snowflake emo loser. Useless didn't know about anything other than being a total waste of life. The prick couldn't even eat without looking retarded. I had never hated myself more. Mr. Useless reminded me of that thing Nietzsche said about hell being other people. Only he wasn't other people. He was me. And I hated him. Turned out his car was just about as ridiculous as he was. What he didn't know was that I was lurking in the back. I grew tired of pitying Useless. It was time to end him. I gotta confess, the freak was stronger than I expected. In the end, Useless was just like me. Own worst enemy. <laughs> I needed to find that goddamn tattoo to prove without a shadow of a doubt he was me and not just some clubfoot loser. I used bleach because you never knew where they might have been. Filthy stray animals. Useless stank like a horse gusset. I guess bathing just wasn't his thing. Sure enough, number four, Mr. Useless. Another one bites the d Wait. My, my, my. What do we have here? Mr. Fucking Evil. Finally, he was on my radar. Finally, it was time to take him down. But first, I had something else I wanted to show him. His four dead brothers. Evil would be dead by dawn. And then finally, I'll be happy.